Hi hey everybody, it's your boy Jared R Reviews, a aka Joshua Sock or Joshua Reviews Incorporated. Ba um back with it with another um video. Um here to bring you another anime review. Um this anime we're reviewing is Monster Mazume. Now, they only had one season for Monster Mazume because the guy who writes the manga and worked on the show got like He's, he's ill, so what he, he does is he continues on the series in a manga format, such as this. As you can see here, this is the recent volume, actually. Uh, now I have to wait to, like, July something, I think, of this year, or was it next year? Either it's July or this year or something like that to get the next manga. Anyways, um, basically what the story is about is Kimi, Kimi, Kimizo, or... Kimi, Kimi Mido, uh, Kirisu, um, I'm just gonna call him K from, from now on because both his first name and last name starts with a K, or I'll call him Darling, which is everything the fucking people call him in the show, or in the series, um, is really, um, wasn't ready to be part of this thing called the Inter um, Species Ex Exchange Program. So what happens is, there's thing these creatures are limp- Half human, half monsters called lemias or liminals. There's different, so many different forms, and the government all around the world have been, or most governments all around the world have heard of them or know about them. So they just, and at some point they decide to, you know, integrate the culture, the two of them together, all three, um, all, all the the monsters and the humans together. Therefore, they comes the inter intercultural interspecies exchange program which basically means they take a creature from every species or more than one species and they all go around the world or in Japan and they stay with the host family one of the the girls that ends up he ends up meeting or ends up his first girl is a girl named Mia and she is a Lemia which is a half snake half or bottom parts of snake and the rest of it's um, a, a human girl um, Mia falls in love with her with the main main character, but the problem is, is the Indicator Species Exchange Program's rules and bylaws prohibits uh, sexual relations with their host person because it would be considering, um, I forgot what it was, but it'd be like literally be like raping her in a way. I don't know. Um, even if they were both on, if she was on board with it from the beginning with, or she initiated it too. Um. Later on, in like episode like four, is it or three or four or f five, they they're gonna mend the bill so the marriage will be allowed and stuff like that. And in this thing, this volume here, I'll tell you explain. Specifically, this is one I think my favorite volume in the series, which is volume fifteen. Is we actually go to Mia's uh, home er, home plate, wherever she's from, the Lemia village, and you find out there's three other versions of snake people, which are the Lemias, the Gorgons, and I believe. Or the they were called the Medusa, I think they were called. Let me just check real quick. Um, okay, so there's the Echidnas, the Limias, and the Medusa. There we go. Um, but all three of these um, races are strictly female gender, so they actually need men to be imported to their their country or and their villages. To reproduce and have more children, otherwise their species will go extinct. Therefore, the cultural exchange program actually prohibits them actually getting these men. Anyways, it was a really good. It was a really good um, volume. So I'm gonna say. But anyways, the story goes on. So he wasn't really supposed to be a part of the interspecies. Um, K was supposed to be a part of the um interspecies program, but the director that that was working with them or agent named um. I'm just gonna call her Agent Smith, because that's what everyone calls her, Smith's son. Um, basically, just like, fuck it, I, I have nowhere else to get this girl, um, everyone else has been turning her down, so, you know, here, here you go. And, he opens her, his house to her, and then, he meets a harpy, which is the second girl he meets, and she is, her name is Poppy, and she, uh, also joins his house. Poppy is just, an interesting character at the least. She's not all that smart. She does dumb stuff. and But she can be a very loyal friend. 
in some ways. I, I, I don't know. Anyways, um, then he also meets a, and become part of, I guess you could say part of his interspecies household. At some point, he has like six people or seven people living with him. And all of them want to get with him. Like, all want to be married to him in, in a way. Um, in a way, one way or another. The problem is, I doubt highly he can pick all five. And one of them, one of them is so funny. It's a princess and also a mermaid. And she doesn't even want, like, this traditional romance. She wants the, the original romance from, like, the original story of Little Mermaid. She wants the romance that, like... Try once where she ends up dying in the end, but he goes on or something like that. It's, it was so fu- like every scene with her in it is so funny. It's just, but it's also like weird because like why would you want to die? <laughs> but it's the the thing, or she's okay with the other way around. And one scene like she doesn't mind if he he dies either. <sighs> it was it was it was weird. It was a weird room. It's a it's a weird series. It's really funny though. Um. And it's just a really funny. There is also fan service, obviously, as you can see by the cover. For fuck's sakes, like you know, it's it's an adult, it's adult ma- um, anime slash manga. Uh, definitely go give it a try. Um, my favorite character, obviously, is Mia. Besides, um, I have two favorite characters. Actually, I have three favorite characters. I like Mia. I like Centaurea, which is a centaur, and I really like. Actually, I have four. My bad, I have four. Rachnera, someone she's like a part arachnid, part snake. And, um, Lala, which is, she's a Dalahan, which is, if you don't know what that is, a Dalahan is a creature, which is the one time it was actually a human fucking creature, like, there are some times that there are more human than there are female, like, than they are, like, creature at all, like, for example, one is a Dalahan, Lala, I'll give you an example of, um, there's one, it's a Cyclops, uh, I forgot her name. There's, uh, I would say Poppy can be considered one, but she's not because she's also a harpy. Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, there's one that's a doppelganger, there's one that's a zombie, and there is, I don't know what the other one, I forgot what the other one was, but she's like a weird, with a horn thing, I, I have no idea what she is. Honestly, um, but my, uh, R- Lala's son is the, f- is the interesting one because she's a Dalahan, and what a Dalahan is, it's a creature from Scottish, fo- it's a, basically a ghost from Scottish folklore, supposedly it's a headless horseman in a way, and it basically, uh, kills the wicked, and also it takes the souls of the dead. Um... Actually, the episodes you see her in is, like, pretty much one of the funniest episodes ever, and you just really see that Smith's son... Or Agent Smith is a really scary person. Anyways, a uh, bunch of shenanigans happen. A bunch of misunderstandings. Fighting over who wants to, who gets to marry Kenito, who gets to sleep with Kenito, who gets to be, do this with Kenito. Okay, a bunch of other things happen. It's it's one of those animes and mangas that you just you have to read to see for yourself. It's one. It's trust me. You want he's one of the mangas that you will, will cheerish reading it and you will not forget. What ha- like you will, you'll be like, yeah, thank you, JR Reviews, for letting me for telling me about this ma- anime or manga. You should just one of those series that you need to read. It's it was a must, okay? I mean, yes, there's fan service, yes, there's like it's adult, like you're there's like adult situations and shit, but like it's so funny. It's and I'm gonna tell you this now, Mia. We all have a Mia in our life, I've met a Mia in our lives. That one girl that will do nothing, will stop at nothing. Like she'll view every other girl that you're with as a as a if you're ever, it's probably a girlfriend or a friend as a rival. Any girl that you're with, it could be your own sister probably. It, it, who knows? For me, it was my sister sometimes. I don't know why, but um, like she she hates all she had hates all my girlfriends before. I, honest to God. Um, but like, any all that I'm gonna say is like it's one of the everyone's had a me in their life. Everyone's had a Cinderella. For sure, everyone's had a poppy in their lives. There's, there's, there's a lot of people who've had poppies. I've had several poppies in my life before. They're annoying. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, even Kimoto calls her a bird brain sometimes because she does stupid stuff. She forgets stuff, and she, one time she tries to fly out the window or the the door, and there's it's a sliding glass door, but the glass is still on it, so she just hits the glass door, 
And he's and he's like, how long time must I tell you? you have to open the door before you fly out? She also likes to play a lot of games, like fun games, and she's quite has a, a mo- lot more mothering instincts than most of the people do. Cinderella sounds of like a knight because she's also a centaur, and it's her. She's a she has some really funny moments too. You just have to watch the series, guys. That's all I'm gonna say. Give it a try. I've, even if, if um, adult manga or fan service or adult anime manga is not your thing or fan service is not your thing, then you're going to try it. It's so funny. You will enjoy it. And you're looking, you're going to see boobs anyways. What the fuck, right? Like, just, even if it's not for the boobs you're going, you'll go for the comedy, right? Anyways, that's all I'm going to say for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.